be starting the program, um, you'll do some foundational things. So there'll be, um, you know, you'll learn how to uh, create a GitHub account if you don't have one, um, create it, work with it, um, code in Python, you'll code in R, uh, you'll learn some foundational uh, computer science principles, you'll learn about data structures and algorithms. So these are all to like serve as that base um, to help you do the later things that you'll be required to do. Um, you'll be learning some um, statistical modeling, so you'll take a course in linear regression. Yeah, you'll take courses in Bayesian machine learning. Uh, you'll take uh, courses in machine learning. You'll take courses in uh, deep learning. Um, you'll take an ethics course. Uh, you'll do a capstone project. The capstone project uh, lasts over two terms. Those are in the final two terms of your program. Um, you'll take some electives to kind of round out some of the you know, modeling and other expertise. Uh, so you know, when you finish this program, uh, you'll really be well positioned to have that you know, strong foundation that a data scientist uh, you know, requires. Uh, you'll also uh, work with you know, your cohort um, and as you progress through that program, you'll get to know, you know, the other teammates and you'll work with them and, you know, much like a data scientist would, right? So a lot of this work is uh, very much team focused. So that's kind of a, a little bit, but, it, you know, again, it's, um, you know, to give you that strong foundation um, and also confidence that, that you could get out there and solve real world problems. Yeah, sure. So the, the capstone is very much um, a fundamental pre piece that brings everything together, right? Kind of like in a structure or an art, you have all these these building blocks, right? So if you look at you know algorithms or you look at uh, coding languages as those building blocks, and then you, there's that final piece that brings it all together, and that's what the capstone is supposed to do. So you know it's a very important part um, of our program. That's why it's two terms. We have a matching process, so we ask students you know what areas they'd be interested in working. And then, um, you know, based on the projects that are available, we try to, you know, best align the students with the projects. During those two terms where the students are doing the capstone, they're, they're meeting with an instructor, you know, a professor, who's, um, you know, guiding them. So giving technical guidance, uh, also just, um, you know, helping to coordinate things, make sure that things stay on track and kind of project managing it. You know, students will go from, you know, Learning about the data, understanding you know how is it sourced, what does it represent, forming hypotheses, uh, cleaning up the data, building models, experimenting, evaluating, presenting it to the client, and so this very much mimics what you do uh, as a real-world data scientist, right? So it's um, you know because again when you go work for a company, the questions won't be solved, right? And we won't know the right way to do it. We won't know necessarily what's the best way to do it, and you, you kind of develop the, you know, the, the applied part, because it very much is a, an applied uh, science. You know, when we look at data science, it's really the intersection of mathematics, statistics, uh, computer science, and, um, you know, kind of business knowledge. And, and first and foremost, it's about solving problems. And I think that's one of the things that, that kind of sets uh, data science apart from some of the other fields I mentioned. You know, not that computer scientists or mathematicians don't solve problems, but I think the, the focus is different. So for instance, you know, I, I study mathematics, that's my background, I'm a mathematician. And um, you know, we see beauty in structures, right? So you could, you could say, here's the definition of this object, here's the theorem about it, and here's the proof. And um, you know, not to generalize, but a lot of mathematicians would be like, that's beautiful, that's all that I need to know. Well, what I found is, you know, and particularly with teaching in data science, I find that, you know, the, the definition theorem proof or, or putting the, t the technique before the application actually, like, turns off a lot of data scientists, particularly data scientists that are, like, say, doing an online program that, that have other, you know, competing priorities. They want to know, like, what's the application? What am I doing with this? What's the use case? Why should I bother learning this algorithm? Um, so I found that our classes and our program are, are more successful when, when we're application goes up front and it really motivates the problem. And quite frankly, you know, it, it really is about solving problems, but in a, in a very specific subspace. You know, we need to be very focused on the fact that like, well, there's data and there are assumptions and there are models and there are technologies. And it's really like 
we want to understand those tools and, and enhance our craft and be able to solve certain problems. But they're against certain types of problems. So that, that's kind of understanding, you know, you want, really want to frame the problem. And, and then, um, you know, you want to say, is, is this um, something that we could solve? And data science is, is uh, you know, a field where we can solve a lot of problems and we just frankly need more people contributing. Um, so we do want to admit a very diverse group. Um, that said, you know, we know that if we don't have certain prerequisites, students will, might just really struggle and, and they might not just not even enjoy the program. So that being said, um, you know, one of the, you know, we're always like kind of refining our admissions process. One of the questions we ask is, tell us about your coding experience. Um, what wouldn't be sufficient? What wouldn't be sufficient is something like I watched some coding videos on YouTube, you know, um, kind of where you're passive, right? So we, we want people that have, have at least actively uh, coded. So in our program, we focus on R and we focus on Python. Um, does it need to be those two languages um, if prereqs? No, I mean, if you said you did Java or C++ or, or something where, you know, a coding language where you've actually actively coded, um, that would be sufficient. You know, we also want to see that applicants like kind of know where they are, know where they want to get to, and make it clear like this is how you know our program is going to be that missing piece. Right. So we ask like, you know, what's the motivation for this? And not just, you know, a, a bad example, a bad answer would be something like, you know, machine learning and AI are just so exciting. I see them in the news all the time and I just want to get in on that. You know, you, you need to um, you know make it I think more specific. Like, you know, there's some you know, problem that you want to solve. There's something maybe you'd like to do um, in your career, and, and you, know, you need this piece to get there. Um, certainly, we want people to be collaborative. So we give a lot of thought to, you know, is this person going to be enhancing to the cohort, right? So we don't want like a lone wolf that's just like, I just want to do you know, all the coding by myself. Like we want people who, when they're, in a, when they're in a team environment, if it's a group project, if it's a capstone, that they're actively contributing. You know, ideas, work, coding. Um, you know, we want people that work together because that's very much uh, how things work in practice. Um, going back to some of the other strict prerequisites. Um, so we ask, you know, have you taken calculus? Um, you know, have you taken linear algebra? Have you taken statistics? So, um, you know, if you don't have these prerequisites, you can, you know, find these things. Um, you know, there's some resources that we provide, um, or we can recommend things to you. Uh, why the UVA online data science program? Um, our curriculum is, is super, super strong. Um, so you know, we, we put a lot of thought research into uh, what should be in the program and what shouldn't be in the program and to get to where we are today. And then of course, going forward, we're always revisiting that. You know, what are we missing? What are the trends in the industry? What are the hot things? And you know, what, sh what should be added and revised and deleted from this? And then another piece is you know, career placement. So if we have a great curriculum, but we can't you know, get, get good outcomes for people, then ultimately we're not serving them, right? You know, we work with career services very closely. Um, you know, so we're building an industry advisor network. Uh, so th these are you know, professionals in the data science space who can help do things like provide screening interviews, mock interviews, technical interviews, give workshops, meet one-on-one -on -one with students, meet in groups. Uh, kind of advise them on, you know, filling that gap of like you're you're investing your time, your money into this, you know, program now, and help you get to, you know, where you want to be. So it's not just like, you know, talk with someone about your resume or your cover letter, but it's also about like talking with somebody who's doing what you're trying to do, who is is at the place where you want to get to. So you know, and again, kind of like going back to admissions when when we're thinking. You know who should be admitted into the program. We're really thinking like, are we going to be able to get them to the outcome that they want? <music>